In the early morning rain With a dollar in my hand With an aching in my heart And my pockets full of sand I'm a long ways from home And I miss my loved ones so In the early morning rain With no place to go How's it going everybody out there in YouTube world? Welcome back to another guitar lesson. I'm your host, Logan Grendel. And as always, if you see anything you like in this video today, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below this video and to share with your friends. All right, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Gordon Lightfoot song, Early Morning Rain, but more specifically, the Tony Rice version off of Tony's album, Me and My Guitar. So we'll get right into it. So in order to play along with Tony's version on Me and My Guitar, what you're going to want to do to play in the same key is you're going to put your capo on the second fret and play C position for the key of D major. All right, so here we go. So the first little lick on this is kind of like a like a cross picking thing. So I'll try to break it down for you so you can get it. All right. So first thing you're going to uh, Leave your C position like this, but you can leave your ring finger off for net for right now, all right? So you're gonna do that's the first two notes, two up strokes. Alright. And then when you get up here to the second fret of the uh, D string, you're gonna all right, and think about it as if you're playing the chord, a chord like this, but you're hammering on, and in one fluid motion, you want to go. So the first phrase is. All right, so anyway, back to what I was saying. So, and then. All right, so that's. So that's uh, it's going to be fourth string, third string, second string. All right, and then you're going to go so open to second fret, and then open. All right, and when you on the on the G string, and when you do that, you want to catch at the same time like a double stop. You want to catch the first fret of the B string in that so all right and then sec second fret D string pull off to open and then catch the third fret of the fifth string and then open D string so that makes its way into this D minor seven shape right here. And all that is is third, uh, second fret of the third string and then barring the first fret on the B and E string, all right? And another way you can think about it as like the top four strings of an F chord that, would you, that you would play like this, all right? All right, so anyway, so what we got so far is And the feel for this little chord is kind of like this. All right. And then after that, you're going to play this little lick that leads into the five chord or the G chord since we're in C. All right. C position. So and what that is, is going to be um, pointer finger on the second fret of the D string, hammer on the third fret. And then you're going to catch the second fret of the G string. And then back to third fret on the D string. And then open G string. So real slow, that's.
and at the same time, all right, you're gonna hit the low G, all right, and then get ready to put your pointer finger back on the first fret of the B string, like you're gonna play your C position shape again, all right, so. do that same hammer on open to second fret to open again so all right and then you're going to play just the standard doc rock watson c lick just that's all that doc watson stuff What that is, is first fret, um, D string, pull off to open, and then third fret, and then open, D string, and then second to third on the A string. So, all right, so, Slick is and it's the same pattern as the the first lick except this time you're going to pull off second to open and then catch the third fret oh uh catch the second fret and then the third fret so, all together slowly, what that is, is all right, and then you just strum the chord and, and there's a pause and then that's where the singing starts. So that up to speed is going to sound like this. Where the singing starts so um so I'm now i'm going to teach you the chords on in the verse and it's the same um chord uh series of chords throughout the entire song all right nothing changes all right so what that is is the first chord is going to be e minor and uh you can play e minor like this but if you want to kind of jazz it up to make it cool you can uh, put your pointer finger where you would normally play an E minor if you played it like this. But instead, you're going to move your pinky to the fourth fret of the D string. And that makes a very cool sounding E minor, all right? So, after you strum the C, then the singing starts. In the early morning rain. And then F with a dollar in my hand, and then to G. So, in the early morning rain, with a dollar in my hand. All right, so that's E minor, F, G, back to C, all right? Okay, and then the next time, so in the early morning rain, with a dollar in my hand, the line with an aching in my heart it's going to start on that D minor 7 that same chord so dollar in my hand with an aching in my heart and then you can move that shape up and then you play an F okay so with an aching in my heart And my pockets full of sand. All right. And then the next line is going to be the same thing. 
Uh, the dollar in my hand, the bacon in my heart, and my pockets full of sand. I'm a long ways from home. And I miss my loved ones so. In the early morning rain. So then it's going to be back to the E minor. And then with in the early morning rain. With no place to go. And so the last line is going to be the same as the first line. So you think about it as like the first line and the last line or the fourth line are the same. And then the ones in the middle are the same. So a little rundown with that again. And then that'll be all for this video. It's going to be. In the early morning rain. With a dollar in my hand With an aching in my heart And my pockets full of sand I'm a long ways from home And I miss my loved ones so In the early morning rain with no place to go. And then it repeats the same thing throughout the song. And that's the song. So there's Early Morning Rain, originally written by Gordon Lightfoot, but there's the Tony Rice version off me and my guitar. That'll be all for this lesson today, folks. And as always, if you see anything you like in this video, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below this video and to share with your friends. And that'll be all for this lesson today. I'll catch you all on the next one. See ya.